Oh my god, what Treyarch are doing with Black Ops 4 Zombies in the next coming weeks and months is absolutely exhilarating. I'm going to say one thing right now which is going to blow your minds and every single one of you watching has to click the thumbs up button if you're excited by this news. But the next Zombies map, DLC 2, which is a Chaos map, is the last Chaos map we're getting this season in Black Ops 4. DLC 3 and 4 are purely Aether Story DLC maps. If that doesn't deserve a like rating, I don't know what is, but this is incredibly exciting. Treyarch just announced on live stream that this new DLC map is called Ancient Evil. Simply Ancient Evil. I'm going to let Jason Blandell and Craig Houston explain on the Treyarch live stream. Going to Greece and we are specifically going to Delphi. <gasps> Delphi! What do you know about Delphi, Jason? <clears throat> uh, it's in Greece. It is. Right. Plenty more facts like that coming up. <laughs> <laughs> Um, it's called expert knowledge. But, but what now that people and the characters understand the rules of mm -hmm. the chaos story a little bit more, we're going to do something interesting here because we are actually going to be visiting a world where a sentinel trial has been running for a very, very, very long time. Because as some people will discover, sentinel trials tend to end when they are completed or when everybody dies. So in our new level, there are some other characters knocking about. Yes. And you're going to have to find out about them and what role they play and why this trial is continuing and where it's ultimately going to lead them. Because all our previous maps, we saw the trial oh, start. Yeah. So this is the first one where this trial has been running, as Craig said, for a very long time. We teased the key art this morning. We've got, oh. we've got an image you, of that that, that Tommy can throw up, but we also have a name. <gasps> there we go. There we go. Lovely. Boom. Ancient evil. Ancient evil. Ancient evil. Yeah. Like I said, a long time. That's what, that's what ancient <laughs> means. We were like, See, how do we hint to the audience? Get the thesaurus out, Jason. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so uh, this map represents the uh, last map of the chaos story for this season. Mm -hmm. So, Jason, is, where are you going with this? <clears throat> so this what could it mean? So this is, this is, the, this is the cliffhanger no, here. Maybe a step too far, but it's cool. It's just <laughs> it can, it can go higher in pitch if he tries. Um, so this is the, the wrong paths. <laughs> this is this is the last one of the chaos story for this season. For this season. Uh, so the next two, so going to our DLC three and DLC four, will be back to the ether storyline. It's one of those things. You know how Jason and I have often said we like to have our cake and eat it. It's nice the fact that we're going to have a kind of nice even split four and four yep. between ether and chaos. Because um, we still enjoy them. Yeah, we like much. our cake and eat it and yes. a small cake factory on the side and as well. And a second cake. Yeah. Now pay attention to the fact that they said the last Zombies map for Chaos in this season. If that doesn't scream an accidental slip from Jason that this is not the only season of Zombies content we're getting, then I'll be dumbfounded. But it sounds like we might be getting a second season of Black Ops 4 Zombies this year whilst COD 2019 is out. I want every single one of you watching this video that would love Treyarch to do a season two of Zombies DLC and Black Ops 4 to let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. All of Treyarch are probably watching this video right now and if they hear loud and clear that that is what we want and they're planning it, then it is going to be absolutely insane. I don't think there's never been a more exciting time than when Zombies was first revealed about Black Ops 4 Zombies being this exciting. There is so much to look forward to. I just can't fathom that this is actually Actually happening. They also showed on stream the new gauntlet for Classified being DEFCON 5 and they cheekily also showed some gameplay of the new perk which is called Ethereal Razor which we didn't know up until now exactly what it did but Jason gave a very vague description that this gives you increased melee damage and melee kills will actually heal your health inside of zombies so if you get cornered for instance and you have a bowie knife or a strong melee weapon by simply using this perk it is going to bring your health back and allow you to take a few more hits before going down so you could maybe infinitely get yourself out of a situation where you might be stuck in a corner. I'm not going to lie, it doesn't sound like the most exciting perk out of all of the perks that we could be getting, but I hope it's the first of many useful perks to come. As weird as it sounds, touching back on Ancient Evil, the fact that it's the ending for a cliffhanger for the Chaos Story actually makes me more excited because it sounds like what we're going to experience in this map is going to be absolutely insane compared to what we're used to, and the fact that it's a cliffhanger means the stakes are really high, whatever's going to happen on this map ending wise is going to be huge which is going to have us guessing and sort of theorizing on what happens next until the next chaos map that we get which could be like I said in season two of Black Ops 4's DLC. And last but by no means least they also revealed
revealed a director's cut trailer for Dead of the Night, which is something they did for every Black Ops 3 Zombies DLC. Every single one of you guys watching knows how incredible these trailers were. And this trailer made my jaw drop, essentially. I don't know why Treyarch didn't release this when the map launched or a month or so after to get hype, because this trailer is incredible. I'm not going to say many more, but it gives us so many new story details about the map that we didn't know before. It's incredible. I'm so excited for zombies. Let me know if you guys are as well and if this has resonated as well with you guys as it has with me. Fantastic news all around. Ancient Evil dropping sometime in March. Last Chaos map. After this, we have two Aoife maps, which is going to be so exciting. I cannot wait to finally jump back in with those characters. Man, I'm just going to leave the trailer playing for you guys. So you can watch it, but you can also check out the buried gameplay, which they revealed on stream, which I'll be showing you guys in a separate video, as well as the initial DLC 2 trailer. So you know what's coming up as well as a roadmap video as well, discussing all of the new things coming to zombies in February, March and April, all linked down below or as an interactive card. But thank you for watching. I'll catch you next time. There we go. There we go. <laughs> so, yeah, it's, it's kind of um, it's, it's full rock and roll. All right. Outstanding. Well, then on that note, uh, we will throw it to Dead of the Night.